Hello, um, Annie Hall here. Um, I've been thinking a lot lately what I should make my next videos about, and I think I came up with a pretty good concept. I did not make these ideas up, but they're ideas that I think about and that help me get through my day-to-day -day struggles of life. Um, and they're really, really simple, and I hope that they can help other people. Um, whether you are stressed with school, um, stressed with your relationship, stressed at work, um, all of these things are completely normal, but it becomes abnormal when these day-to-day -day things are affecting your happiness and affecting your positive outlook on life. No job, career, boyfriend, girlfriend should have that much of an effect on you because you are, whether you like it or not, the most important thing that you have in my belief. So uh, that's what I'm going to talk about today in this video. So number one, <clears throat> I talked about the job, whether you work or whether you're in school, it's going to be stressful. You're working, whether you're working to pay the bills for your children or you're working to save money and to make your life better, to move out, to whatever, whatever stage of life you're in, you're working for a purpose. And you should love that job, but you don't. You don't always love that job. But um, the paycheck at the end of the day makes people keep going, right? Um, another talk thing I talked about was school, obviously. You're in school for a reason. That's where I'm at right now. I'm at that stage, and I can... I can say that I, I do really, really enjoy it. And that's another thing that a lot of people cannot say. And I think, well, if you really, really don't like it and you're spending all this money, you're spending books, you're spending money on textbooks, you're spending money on tuition, and you're not truly happy, what are you really doing? Because at the end, you think you're going to get a job in this field that you've been studying for. But if you don't like it, then why are you doing it? Just another thought. I think another key to positive, being positive, is not getting irritated or upset over the really, really small things. Like me, I'll, I'll snap and then I'll go back and think, was that really necessary? It, it exhausted more energy, me getting upset than it was worth. The guy in Starbucks is taking forever and I'm behind him. Come on, let's go, I have somewhere to be. Or the person in the grocery store with a thousand coupons. You know what I mean? It's simple things like that, but they, it bugs us. And then you leave the grocery store, you leave Starbucks, you leave wherever. and you either it either ruins your day or you laugh and you're like wow I was actually really upset about that person cutting up those coupons when in actuality like man I wish I had those coupons right um <clears throat> another key concept uh, probably one of the hardest would be cutting out the negativity in your life whether this negativity is coming from people um, that's probably the hardest one because you can't just cut people out of your life right but if these people are impeding on your happiness um, holding you back in a way with anything then that those aren't the kind of people that you want in your life right so I've dealt with this it's not an easy task by any means, but I guarantee you that you will feel happier once you get rid of 
once you get rid of the negativity. And it's so easy, it's so easy to say, and it's not easily done. When I was in this process, I was in a completely different state of mind than I am now. Um, I was very angry, and I was, I was very, um, I blamed instead of looking at me in the bigger picture. You know what I mean? And that's what a lot of people do. So, yes, it's very difficult. Um, yeah, so cutting out the negativity. I don't know what that negativity is, but the only person that can find it out is you. So you kind of have to do a self-evaluation of your life. And who does that? I'm 20 years old. Who does that? But I guess I do. I did and I am happier from it all. Another thing that contributes to my current happiness and overall um, positive being um, would be outlets and hobbies. I think we all need something to do. Um, not all outlets are positive in my opinion, but that's the person's choice, right? Um, I, I like to read, if you've watched my other videos. I like to paint. I like the more crafty kind of, um, you feel good. I at least feel good when I make something. And I can show, hey, like, look what I did. I, I made this. I think it's pretty cool. That's where my outlets come from. Another thing, another outlet for me is polyvore, making little outfits. Um, lookbook. Simple things. Tumblr. Go on Tumblr. I don't know. Um... And now I'm starting to get into the world of YouTube. So it can be anything, whether it be a sport, um, I'm trying to think, a sport, reading about a favorite band, listening to music. Um, that's another big one for me that has not been mentioned yet, but Anything that makes you happy, do it in your stressful times. Just try to, try to block out the stress for a little bit. Go in your own little area. Do what makes you happy. It's kind of hard in some circumstances to do this, but try. Um, there's nothing, nothing wrong with trying, right? So you've just come home from school. You have a stack of books on your desk that you have to read 500 pages by tomorrow. And you're thinking, how in the world am I going to do this? Well, most cases, it's not going to get done. That is a... It's realistic because no one can read 500 pages in a night. I can't. There, there may be some people out there that can, but I cannot. Um, so you do what you can, right? You pick the most important pieces. You figure out what you, what you need to do. Prioritize, basically. What is the most important thing that I need to do to help me for tomorrow, for that test tomorrow, or for that assignment tomorrow, or for that um, lab tomorrow what is the most important thing I could do to prepare myself so when tomorrow comes along I'm not sitting there oh my gosh I don't I couldn't finish the 500 readings I don't know what to do that's never fun I've been in that situation many times so it's never fun um, but yeah prioritizing and this isn't just with school this is with everything this is with work what's what's important so to end off this video I'm sure you guys got the main point no the people that are asking wow is she always this
positive and happy. No, no. Everyone has their good and bad days. It's a roller coaster, right? Um, I make videos when I'm in the mood to make videos, and usually I'm happy. So that's going to portray through the film, through the camera. But uh, no, I'm not always this happy. But the things that I've mentioned help me get happy, get to that level of sane, um, that sane level that you can, uh, that you can love with. Um, there's always going to be the struggles, there's always going to be the negative people pushing you down, there's always going to be problems. Life is not simple by any means, but using these few tips, key things, I find that I am a lot happier and I find that they're not too difficult to do. So if you've got anything out of this video, please let me know. Um, I've gotten an idea to actually make a whole series about positivity and just that concept in general. So let me know if you like the video. If you don't like the video, what I should do next time. I need um, kind of some ideas, right? Because I could go on forever about any topic. And if you want me to talk about a certain topic, let me know. So thank you for watching. This video might be a little long, but like most of my others, thank you for watching. And um, I hope this video helps at least one person out there because it's helped me. So thank you.